Hey everybody, welcome to another Warno gameplay. It's the war game, it's not a dragon, it's Warno. Feels weird to say it when finally recording. Uh, this is actually my first specifically recorded gameplay with commentary. Obviously I've live streamed it, I've done some other small videos regarding Warno, but first, you know, specifically recorded Warno gameplay video. It might be a complete stomp. It's about an hour after the game was released in early access, so depending on how this goes, it's not gonna end up on YouTube. But who knows? Depending on what they, you know, what if they have kept up with videos, live streams, if they played Warrior Dragon, ugh, I can't talk Red Dragon, or if they played um, Seal Division, maybe they're gonna have an easy time getting into this. I don't know. Let's see. So, we're playing 3rd Armored. Um, I, li I, I like to do either Bradley opener or a Kiwa opener when it comes to the recon. Given that they're playing against... Um, let's try the Bradleys this time around. Military police with the M67s are absolutely bonkers. One unload here. This, uh, this is com bugged at the moment, unfortunately, this section at the bottom. I wanna load here. Let's see what's the range here? 1000 meters. Let's actually unload you here. So they can use the M67. On Elite, they're M67. M67's recruits rifles, right? At the moment, still have 20 RPM, which is absolutely bonkers and obviously shouldn't be the case. A lot of work in progress stats, right? So, yeah. It is how it is. Uh, I think I'm not gonna open with the Abram CV. I'm just gonna get one. I don't have Elite Abrams. As, oh, well, I gotta adjust my deck. I was gonna say one Elite HA Abrams, but I guess I don't have those in my deck. So, let's just get a normal Abramski. Get like a CEV. Get some Recon. Anti air. Pivots is absolutely atrocious thus far. I only have it in there because I was trying, I was testing it. Um. How many points do you have? That? 340. Let's get a fire team in mid. Let's get another military police just in case. More infantry, huh? You better safe than sorry with those. Right. You're gonna unload in here. You can unload a bit further up. Stinger, unload in there. You drive up here. You unload at the edge of this bush. You drive in here. You unload there. Stinger, unload in this bush so you can cover that area. Unload in here, Bradley, get in there. Stinger, unload this building. TV, drive up here. And, well, GLHF. Everything's moving, everything's moving. Every now and then I sometimes forget to... We might actually also get heal rush. Heal rush is... Oh no, not against... Not against uh, what is it, the 79th? Can you please... Is it like guards, tank, division or something like that? I don't know. And yeah, let, let's just see how it goes. It, again, it might just be a complete stomp, in which case you're not even gonna see this. But you know, I, I got an hour of free time, so I might as well see if I can get a game in. It's maybe a bit aggressive to get the GCV up there. Position it there. All right. Good, looking good. Sell you. Sell you with up with attack move. Unload. You can get you in this building even. You just get you in this building and you in this bush. Sell. Stingers out there. 
H.A. Abrams out there. Man, that thing is really fucking slow. Yeah, 54 kmh. He do be having a lot of CVs, so sure, let's buy our own CVs. And then start pushing, I guess. Get you in there. Moving. Sell you. No, it's plus one because this is a plus three zone, so it's not really too bad. Sell you. Sell you. It's also. Let's get one more. I wanna be a bit cheeky with you. I think it's gonna be very defensive here. Get some base defense. Don't wanna get our stuff wrecked by a single hind. That's presumably a CV. T80 UK. It is indeed a CV. We can get the fire team up. We'll also get a thunderbolt next. Right, we're gonna try to tank some shots with the engineers, maybe even deal some damage. Let's get an A10 going. You know what, they're not even getting spotted, so you know, just let them fire for now. They're not dealing a lot of damage, but they're doing something. Right, he, he noticed that, he noticed that. Yep, getting some side with the Bradley going. And it's one tank down. Oh, it's just a TADB. I thought it would be a more expensive tank. You can kill it with the T Bradley. Yeah, that's what happens when you push without recon. It's nothing new. It's just like war game and presumably Steel Division two. I mean, not at a number two, but also Steel Division, of course. Very funny, Rasman. Get some supply. You can evac honestly. It's gonna pivot just because I want more experience with the thing, but I think it's still pretty hard garbage. Mech rifles and some military police for forest fights. Let's just get an M1A1, might as well. Move around with you. Honestly, you I'm just gonna keep actually as. Yes. Get the HA Abrams back. One thing to keep in mind is if your unit flashes, it doesn't mean it's not spotted, right? In Wargame, if your unit is in cover and doesn't flash anymore, you know it's spotted. Or it just fired, it's also an option. But um, if it didn't just fire and it's in the forest, but the fl unit card doesn't flash anymore, you know it's spotted. Not the case here anymore. It always is flashing. Unless it just fired, I guess. But uh, it's not giving you an indicator anymore if the enemy has just spotted a unit. So that is. Especially coming from war game, right? If you get used to that, or you know, it happens pretty easily, can catch you off guard very easily. Uh, let's see if we can maybe yes yeah, get in here with some with the tanks that we just bought. Keep the HA here, you know, just as like a wall. Well, with the stinger a bit. Get a Bradley in here. Actually, you know what? Let's keep the Bradley here. It stops assaulting from that assaults from that way. Let's get a Kaiwa warrior, so we have some better line of sight. The CEV. Actually, we can move over here. Can get some infantry fire support. The scout going. Oh, the set artillery firing in there. It is. Ow! 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 Let's buy cluster already next. We have, yeah, we're gonna have the points for that. I'm, I'm actually curious. Cluster artillery has been incredibly inconsistent. Oh no, it's a new TADB.
no, don't move that way. That's what I hate at the moment. The attack move is just... You know what? He's doing really well with the juking those dragons. Turn off, please. Oh, it's depleted anyway. Load in there, please. Hold you in, but I think by the time that arrived, everything's already dead. TADB is under 1 HP. TADB is dead. The CB is also doing a lot of work, honestly. Used to be pretty garbage in the first build, but now seems pretty nice. Sell these things. Another thing is, it's I think it's also from Steel Division, right? The carry over there. Uh, when you unload an infantry squad, it automatically selects the infantry squad that was in there. And not the. Uh, doesn't keep the. Oh, okay, they don't. It doesn't keep the infantry selected. Uh, the, sorry, the transport selected. Let's see if you guys are. Okay, well. Put these mech rifles at the edges. Military police a bit further back. Out here, see if we can move you up. Get a command Abrams going. Another M1A1. Ryan, down. Oh, they killed the BMP? Yep. That's a TADB, it's two TADBs. Oh, that's a nasty shot. Look at the angle of those Mavericks, Jesus! Holy... Fudge. In Wargame, that would've completely missed. Way too steep of an angle for a Maverick. But those were just two nasty side shots. Ye Jesus. At the moment, of course, the gun also doesn't really do much against ground targets. I hope they're gonna change that. I don't know if it's realistic or not that it actually doesn't really do much. Versus probably armed vehicles. Right, let's, let's turn this off. Let's see how this does. You know, against one armor, it actually does quite a lot. I, I admit. Uh, show front armor, show front armor. Also, that MiG 31M fires its missiles really quickly. This still has a long as freaking range, and also, being the fastest plane at the moment. Only a trajectory of one, so it nearly instantly spawns. Oh, okay, I survived. Did it just hit the ground? It stunned my Bradley. It just stunned my. Wait, it was stunned for no, it was stunned for a bit while. Maybe it was stunned by something else. I have to recheck that. It looked like it it stunned the Bradley with that though. Also wondering. Oh, didn't look. Doesn't look like it killed anything. We want to see if we can move in there with elite police. <laughs> elite police. I mean, I guess they are elite police, but military police that are on elite. Let's see if we can move in with those. This is a pub stomp, I'm sorry, but like... I also just want to play this game, you know? And it just came out, and I have some time, so... Sorry if this is one-sided. At least, you know, player name isn't displayed for some reason, because the, the, the symbols they're using for the name, I guess, can't be displayed, so... Know, at least I'm not like trying to make someone look bad here. In the, in the first couple of days, of course, the advantage of, of the strike team having early access is very, very apparent. And I'm not trying to downplay that at all. But I also just want to play the game. It's, I mean, at the end of the day, it's also just a public game, right? Uh, a public game. It's not like I'm trying to stomp people in ranked right now. Oh, there's something not raised. Not my cluster. Let's play it safe. I'm actually curious, I'm not gonna unload my stingers yet. Because I wanna know how the pivots does. You know, it actually doesn't do too bad. Somehow the cluster survived. 
And my man pets died. That's probably not how it should be. Place you in like this bush here. And just keep you in the back pocket. Oh, you're not quite in there. Right now we're taking 4 plus 5 per second, you know, it's not every 4 seconds, but that's also why the score limit is 2000. At your orders, Captain. How accurate are you now? Well, it doesn't really change accuracy, huh? Interesting. Probably? You know, now that I think about it, I think... We should probably affect accuracy more than anything else. I think the fact that, that accuracy isn't affected is actually quite a big deal. And I don't know why I didn't think about it until now, but... I think cohesion should, like accuracy should be this thing that should be affected the most. Need some testing, maybe it is affected, but it's just... Yeah. Well, game is almost over. <laughs> again, sorry. It is again, quite likely it's the first or maybe second game, right? I'm not trying to play myself up here, look how good I am, alright? But look how good I am, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, what am I? Maybe I maybe I really got off of stomping new players in a game that I already could play for almost two weeks. Maybe that's exactly my fetish, huh? What you gonna do? <laughs> I'm just joking, okay? <laughs> Before people think I'm serious. Another last ditch assault. And there we go. There's no post-game chat, at least for now. Maybe ever. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's the game. I don't know, sometimes the kills just feel emptier than usual, but I think it's just because infantry is more expensive. And you can sell cheap transports, so you're much, much less often suicide, suicided into the enemy. So yeah. In any case, <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. And I'll hopefully see you next time. Yeah, it was just a stomp, I'm sorry. Bye-bye.